Welcome back family, friends and fans, it's Vlogmas Day 9. This is a burlap fabric, it's coated though, on one side it has a plastic coat and then on the other side it is burlap and it just it's nice and stiff and hardened. Here's a scrap of canvas, a deli sheet which um, natural brown deli squares which I used to package my sweet potato pies this thanks, past Thanksgiving, uh, some scrapbook paper, some more scrapbook paper that was naturally distressed, some more deli sheets, a piece of brown felt which is a scrap. Um, there's a scrap of scrapbook paper and I'm just showing you everything that I'm going to compile in our junk journal. This is going to be like a um, oh, and this is a sketch paper. This is going to be like a junk journal for with a lot of textures. There's a brown paper bag. There's a jewelry bag. Uh, some tissue paper, which I actually didn't even, I forgot to use for this project. And an envelope. This vellum uh, that I found for $2.99, a 12 pack at my um, local um, 99 cent store. I was like, wait. What are you guys doing with vellum? <laughs> it was nice to see and it was really cheap. So, and there's some more vellum scraps that I have. I love vellum. It's very, um, it's a very delicate, dainty fabric. Here are some coffee, um, coffee filters. I'm gonna use two of the brown ones and I might use the, brown, the white ones. I'm not sure, but I'm going to take two out just in case and what else here's some uh, book pages that I had previously turned into pockets and has a cute little cutout of a flower so I'll be using that in this junk journal and I plan on doing a junk journal um, history video with you guys. Um, here is uh, some more sketchbook paper and I just want to make sure that I fold it up. So this canvas, even though I'm fixing it this way, I'm going to be doing something different with it later. So you'll see. And at this point, I am just trying to feel all the pieces out and I'm letting you guys into that process of seeing what I want to do. There's a million ways to uh, bind a book, bind a journal. And I was checking to see if I was going to do it this way where I'd have the canvas pieces vertical and then sew them in the middle. Um, but you'll see that I end up not doing that. I also ended up folding mm -hmm. over the ends of the burlap to make pockets later. I folded my scrapbook. And now I'm just kind of getting the vision for what I want and soon enough I will realize that the size that I want everything to be uh, is going to be this size that everything, you know, this like smaller size. And so I figure out soon enough that my, uh, my this sketchbook paper is just way too big so I use the scrapbook that scrap I use it to measure and cut the all of the sketchbook pages to make them the same size about the same size as everything else and with a junk journal really things don't have to be the exact same size so yeah I feel much more I feel a lot more comfortable now I'm just spreading out the sketch pages and just checking to see what it is exactly that I'm going to do. But I figure it out eventually. <laughs> Here's another kind of canvas. It's a lot softer than the other one. The other one was like a duck canvas. This one is a lot softer. It also rips and I want to use this as my base uh, for the pages. 
So I'm going to be putting that right on top of the burlap. And then now that I have all my pages all together, uh, for the most part, because I'm probably going to add some things, but for the most part, I have everything together. I am going to divide this into two signatures and I've spoken about signatures before and all that means is that you have two separate sections, two separate clusters of paper. That's all that is. So I'm folding here my burlap because I intend on making this pockets later. So I'm making sure I use my bone folder to press that down so I have my guide set. And now I am just figuring it all out. This page was a little long, so I'm going to cut it. And now I'm just gonna divide my, I'm going to be dividing uh, piles into two signatures. Um, so that'll be one signature. And I have this extra scrap of fabric I like the idea of having different uh, textures in a junk journal as much as possible. And that'll be my second signature. So those are the two. And then I'm going to fold my base canvas, make sure that I align it in the center of my burlap. This is my duck canvas that I had before and I'm actually just going to use it to um, cover, uh, it's not going to cover completely, but just to cover the each of the signatures. There you go. I also cut a piece of bounty and this, you'd be amazed how many art, how many things you can make with markers and paint. So here I marked my bounty sheet right in the middle and what I'm going to be doing is securing the bounty sheet the canvas and the burlap together first uh, in the sewing machine but before I do that I'm going to put my hair clip right in the middle where I marked and I'm just going to mark two separate sections that one was a little far two separate sections approximately I'm gonna eyeball it also just wanted those guides that's where my two signatures will be sewn in. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I marked that. And now to secure the canvas, bounty sheet, and burlap, I'm gonna sew down the middle where I marked. Uh, make sure that your machine is, well, I used the zero stitch and I went all the way up to five, which is the longest stitch I could find. Always want to have a long stitch so that you don't destroy whenever you're working with paper. And I'm going to leave it on that setting for everything. Look how straight that line came out. So I folded my burlap and I sewed on either side so as to make pockets. Um, and I did this for both sides of the burlap. So there you will see there's a nice pocket there. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And I'm sorry that I know everything because this video is going to be mostly sped up. But I will be um, sharing with you guys. Uh, I will be offering classes to do this more in depth and show you the million ways that you can do book binding, scrapbooking and junk journaling. And smash booking as well. So... There you go. And I actually hope that I can do a um, tutorial on the history of scrapbooking and that kind of thing. So now I have my guides to sew. So I'm going to find the middle of my, of my signature, just the middle of my signature. And I'm going to align it with the first line that's all the way to the left that I had marked originally. Not the one in the middle, the one on the left of the middle. And I am going to sew that down and write down the center fold of the signature, not the center fold of the actual cover. Just the center fold of the, the signature. And let's see if that came out correctly. And as you can see, I was successful. 
Now I'm going to leave the middle alone where you see that middle stitch and I'm going to take my second signature and I'm going to align it right on the right uh, marking that I made. So all the way down, sewing down the middle of the signature. These lines came out pretty nice today, actually. And now the middle is free. We have two separate signature signatures. You shouldn't do for this kind of bulk. You shouldn't do one signature because you can break your machine. I'm sorry, your um, needle. And now everything is sewn in. I love the bulkiness. I love everything. Some people like these strings. Um, sometimes I do too. It depends. But for this book, I really did not want strings. And um, so I'm just making sure everything looks good. And it does. Um, I have to cut this jewelry bag because one side is closed. And so now we have two pockets. One here and now another pocket here. And one of the main things about a junk journal are its pockets. And although I'm not going to do a full junk journal tutorial, I'm just going to show you guys some basic um, principles of the pockets. Fabri-Tac should be your best friend, <laughs> I'll be honest. It dries super clear. It's um, acid free. It's like it dries really super fast. So I took this coffee filter and I'm going to fold it twice to make four little pocket sections with the coffee filter. And I just glued one side, leaving the middle free, and then glued the back onto the page. And it's cute because it kind of looks like a flower as well, but you have little pockets there now that you can use for your trinkets or whatever you want to put in there. Just finding little spaces that I can glue. And now the basic principle of a pocket, just put glue on three sides, not four, and you will have a pocket. And then depending on how you put it down, those three, shides, those three sides should be the sides that are facing the bottom. The top side is the one that you leave free with no uh, glue because that's going to then become uh, your pocket. So I'm just going to add some of this vellum. And so again, it's one side, two sides, three, and then it dries clear. I actually love Fabri-Tac because it also feels really cold um, in your on your fingers. Um, but not like freezing cold, but it just feels like cool and I like it. It's a nice little fun feature that it has, I guess. Here, I'm going to take my envelope and I'm going to cut it in half. This makes for two pockets. And by mistake, I actually added Fabri-Tac to the top flap and I didn't want to do that. But I realize it sooner than later, thank God, and I fix it. <laughs> And um, yeah, now you just glue the back. Fabri-Tac is just so amazing that um, I'm gonna use this. I was gonna put another pocket there in front, but I didn't want to, just gonna try to keep it simple. And now I'm gonna just make this cute little pocket here folded it that way I, this one I just eyeballed so it's not like super even but that's okay I just glued those middle sides now I'm gonna glue the back and you have a pocket And now for the brown paper bag, I was trying to like figure out the best layout for the brown paper bag. There's so many different ways that I've used the brown paper bag that I wasn't sure which way I wanted to use it today. But um, 
I finally figure it out. And brown paper bags are amazing because you'll see why they allow you to add a lot more bulk to your junk journal. Then you just glue the back. And what I love about the brown paper bag, so it is, you have two pockets, but that back pocket opens up a lot wider, see? Giving you a lot more room to add bulk and whatever you want to add. Now these um, sketch paper, um, sheets they're 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 not glued together because of me it's because i pulled them out of a, a sketch pad and didn't take out some of those parts so that's why um gosh i just love vellum so much and i think i put oh i put it backwards i think let me see yeah i think i did put it backwards you can't really tell sometimes with vellum oh gosh that's okay And there's like so many different um, techniques. Here I'm gonna take another coffee filter but I'm going to tuck the corners in and make a different kind of pocket with the coffee filter. And there's like 75,000 ways to do a pocket. <laughs> so um, those are always fun to explore. But You just have to be careful with the deli paper and the coffee filter because I got a little ambitious with the glue and it kind of stuck together. The pocket kind of stuck together and I had to reopen it. So you just have to be careful with the, um, with those thin uh, fabrics. Here I just decided to make a really super simple um, pocket nothing uh, worth mentioning just wanted to add a little bit of a little more color and there are so many different things that can be done in this book because you have canvas which you can paint on with watercolors and acrylic you have um, deli paper which you can also use watercolors and acrylic you have the bounty sheet which you can use like markers and acrylic and different things um it's just yeah there's a lot of there's a lot that can be done and then of course you have the sketchbook paper and now i'm just trying to figure out what to put on the cover and i found this shopping bag and now it's a christmas shopping bag and i we are in the spirit of christmas but i actually didn't want the shopping bag to look like it was specifically for Christmas I'm sorry I didn't want the junk journal to look like it was specifically for Christmas so at first I was thinking I wanted to do a pocket in the front of the of the junk journal but I decided to just take the part that I like which was the ornament and I decided to sew it down in the middle of the burlap which is how my front pocket of the burlap got sealed tight and I realized this later but I didn't think it through I was just so caught up with trying to get that there now I'm just going to distress the um, ornament to give it some dimension make it look like it's like a little 3d and then add some distressing to the edges and there's where I realized uh-oh and I can't pull that out because then I'd pull out the, um, I mean, I would have to start all over and I don't want to do that. So you have bounty, canvas, deli paper, book pages, this deli, I'm um, sorry, coffee filter, pocket, more deli paper. Um, there's a lot of artists that use deli paper for art. It just, it's, um, it's a great media, it's a great medium, uh, it's a great material to use for art.
Here's the vellum pocket. And then the fabric pieces, they're there. Um, you can end up doing whatever you want. Some people Velcro things on there. Some people sew things on there. The sky is 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 uh, no limit actually <laughs> with all the things you can do. There's our pocket which I want to seal down a little better. So I took my bone folder, just sealed it down. And um, there's felt which I think would be really cool to like attach things to. There's this humongous pocket with the brown paper bag, the jewelry bag two pockets and yeah oh and I didn't get to show you guys the stitch on the spine it's a nice book it's not too thick and it can become thicker once you start adding pages to it, pictures, your ephemera, um, and more pockets and tags. This book has zero tags. So, and any pieces that you want to add later, you can just put them in the pockets and late or pictures that you want to store that you don't have time to, you just put them in the pocket. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.